Jolly good show, Major. going on TTC new Rob report look man let me get right into this because it's late I need to get some rest I need to get to sleep before my daughter wakes up and she will never take her ass back to sleep and I will not get any sleep tonight so before so without further ado <clears throat> let's get right into this game Packers at Seahawks for all the marbles Right? Once again, last year's video with the 49ers, I said it was for all the marbles. Once again, it's for all the marbles. For a trip to play for the Lombardi Trophy. At home. You can't ask for anything better than this. Um, we've got a team. Look, we are playing against a team that I'm not sure is even as good as the 49er team we played last year in this game. Look at it like that. Okay, everybody wants to compare this, compare that. I'm comparing this current Green Bay Packer team to the 49er team that we played last year in this spot. Which team is better? Now, obviously, Aaron Rodgers, right? Callan Kaepernick. Callan? Callan Kaepernick? Colin Kaepernick. Um, but which team was more was more formidable? Which team was more... Um, was was more uh, uh, effective at this time, given their respective year. They're pretty close. They're pretty close, I'd say. Um, you know, and it came down to you know more or less one play. Um, so this should be work out to be a good game. The spread is seven. I'm thinking Seattle wins this game um, by ten. I think it's going to be more than a one-score game, and I know that that's a stretch. You know, when the, when a team is laying seven points, you, you typically are going to take the points. And I know we're not betting, but I'm saying I think Seattle wins this game by ten. I look at it like this. <clears throat> I try to make this video a little more, a little more upbeat and exciting because a, a few folks decided to to jump on me for being so boring in my car in my car videos. I, hey, you know what? I'm driving. What the fuck you want me to do? I don't got time to make these videos so much anymore now with my schedule, but look, this game, um, if you go back to week one, both these teams are completely different teams than they were in week one. But if you consider what you can consider, in week one, both these both these teams were absolutely healthy. Okay, and it was a 20-point victory, I think. Yeah, 20 points. When both teams were brought brand new, fresh, and healthy. All right? Now you've got Green Bay coming in, and you got Seattle coming in. Seattle's a little bit a little bit banged up. Green Bay's got a limp leg quarterback. However, let me go ahead and say this. I believe, I honestly believe that this this um Aaron Rodgers hurt calf, I believe he's playing possum. I believe he was hurt last week in the uh in the Dallas game. You could see it. He was he was, you know, not himself. I personally believe they're having him play possum. They're, every time they ask about Aaron Rodgers' uh, uh, you know progress with his injury, it's always oh he's day to day. Oh yeah, we'll see. Uh, he's still gonna play, but we'll see. You know, bullshit. He's gonna be ready to play football on Sunday. I truly believe, and I believe they're gonna leave it all the way till game time about you know what his status really is, and he's gonna oh he's gonna have to make do, and he's playing possum. So and I hope and I hope that the Seahawks defense knows that too. He's playing possum, trying to get whatever advantage he can get. 
But take a look at our Seattle defense. Now we're not healthy. We're not we're not fully staffed, if you will, on defense. But for a moment, consider this, 12th man, cheeseheads. You cannot argue with the fact that no defense in the NFL has played as good as the Seattle Seahawks have over the past so many weeks leading up into this game. Seahawks are playing better than anybody, period. Seahawks are playing better than they have all season long right now. Could you imagine if we were healthy? I can't, I can't imagine us playing any better even if we were fully healthy. Even if every starter was at 100%, I can't imagine us playing better on defense than we are currently. And you got a broke leg quarterback? Seattle has the advantage, the clear advantage in, in pretty much all aspects of the game. Um, you know, quarterback is a toss up. I mean, especially if you consider that, you know, Aaron Rodgers is, is apparently, uh, you know, not 100%. Um, if you want to talk about, you know, pocket passer and the better, the better true quarterback, sure you want to get it to Aaron Rodgers. But if you want to talk about effectiveness, effectiveness in an offense, in a game, in any given game, who's the most effective? I might lead a little toward Russell. What do you think? I mean, when it comes to what you're able to do, regard don't matter if it don't matter if it's if it's chewing gum. What if what you're able to do makes your team more effective? That's what's going to be important here. And Russell Wilson's got my vote. Running back, running game. Do we really have to even go into that? Sure, Ed, Ed Lace is a big bruiser, but he's not going to. Ed Lace had a couple of you know showed a little bit of a flash in the first game, and we've won. But now the receivers. Green Bay's got us. Dream, you know, uh, Jordy Nelson, um, uh, Randall Cobb, and 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 and, and that young cat. Uh, they, they got us in the receiving core. But Seattle has the best pass defense in the league. So um, you know, that'll be that'll be a battle there. And defense, pff, cancel Christmas on that. So Seattle does have a clear advantage in this game. Not to mention the 12th man. We're playing the game at home. It's going to be hype. Is This is Seahawk football. Big time game. We don't lose these games. Don't even talk about the fail Mary. All right? Don't even look. This one's going to be a 10-point victory for the Seattle Seahawks. We're going back to the Super Bowl. We're going to be playing against Tom Brady. And I cannot help but just think about the game that we played against him a couple of years ago in Seattle. All right, where uh, Sidney Rice caught the game-winning uh, touchdown from Russell Wilson. Um, I believe it was that game that really sparked this whole thing. You know, that, that game really was like, wow, we got something going here. Um, so, but we're not going to get, I'm not, I shouldn't even have said all that. Jumping the gun, I'm typically not that kind of dude. So, hey, I'll try to make another video, something short, even if it's something short. Uh, before between now and, and kickoff um, Ogden no it's not gonna happen bro it's not gonna happen um, I almost want to make a bet but I'm not into that shit you know I'm not betting any fucking stupid acts and um and I'm not a big money better I think people would make fun of me if I tried to bet somebody over the internet on some money that I'm the amount of money that I'm willing to bet <laughs> They'd probably be joking me, so I'm not even going to do that. Uh, but hey, I'm good with Crow. I'll take some Packers Crow. That's all I got. Uh, you'll see me again. One way or another. Fuck the Packers. Go Hawks.